Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Case Clicker Jackpot videos. This video here is going to be a bit different than what I normally do, and that is because I want to show you a small sample of uh, the statistical data I make when I am playing Case Clicker and I try to figure out how is it a good way to gamble, how is it a bad, and um, summarize it up in a uh, chart so I'm using Excel for that and let's just see what we have here just like that this is how it looks what I have here is 25 jackpots listed I'm not going to do 25 jackpots in this video because I am uh, not speeding them up I'm talking through them uh, but what uh, this is about is that I enter in what I bet uh, for instance 2500 and I enter in what I Whoa, that was that was perhaps a bit overdoing it. Uh, then I enter in what I win, like that, and then the system updates my total stake, my total wins, but also my profit. Because when you do win jackpots in Case Clicker, you kind of see your wins, including what you bet, and I don't think that really counts as a real win. Uh, so, like, if you feel you just won 3,254 and you go in and you stake 3,000 and you lose, then you're not going to be in a profit. You're actually going to be down 2,246. Uh, so that is uh, one of the things I use when I uh, look at my jackpots and I try to figure out what is a good way to gamble, what is a bad. Then I use a spec sheet such as this to, uh, to keep track of... Um, whether or not I have not only been lucky or in crap luck, but also am I making the right decisions. Um, normally when I gamble, I aim for high-end items more than I aim uh, to get account value. But sometimes I just aim for account value and that is what I am going to be showing you guys in this video. Just a bit of a demonstration about. So let's dig into it really. So here we are. When I gamble for account value, let's just grab the freebie, <clears throat> I often do it in normal mode instead of above normal, and that is because the normal mode gives me a much better chance at overbidding uh, percentage and value-wise. Um, so I do feel it is easier uh, to do it in normal mode than in above normal, even though you don't get as many crazy wins. So having it in normal mode and then starting the jackpot, letting the first 40 items add up for several reasons. One, I can see if there is a super high value item in there, Dragon Law, Karambit, in which case I will go a bit crazy pants in on trying to win it and disregard the like statistical stuff. Uh, and two, it is going to allow me to see what the total is for the jackpot. Um, before I place in my items. So letting it roll, keeping up with is there anything interesting in the pot and what should I bet in order to have a good chance at winning it. So highest single value item here like 440 meaning that's pretty good actually. Um, so there is room for one more item. Uh, let's just try to get it in Come on, I don't want to go above. Really? Stop this, put it in. Like that. So, nothing more can be added to the jackpot now. I am 100% sure that the jackpot I'm going to be betting to win is valued at 1226.70. So if I want a 50% chance to win it, I just need to add that value. Since I saw a 400 valued item in here, I would like to stake higher than that. I would like to win that. Uh, that is in my, um, hey, by the way, I would like to win you range. Uh, so even though it is a bit dangerous in regards to uh, like statistics um, for farming money, I'm going to go a little more crazy bands bet wise in on this and stake the lowest <coughs> the highest value I have below 400 because that is 
how I generally gamble, I don't stake anything worth more than 400 in order to win a 400 valued item, for instance. But 71.17% chance to win, and uh, that's no guarantee, is it? It was a win, that was good. So let's move uh, this annoying guy here a bit so that we have a decent overview at what we won. So, I mean, since this is normal, most of it is crap, but that's okay. Some of it can be contracted, some of it can be sold, um, some of it can be gambled, um, but really getting more value for the account here and actually getting a Medusa is pretty nice. That is one of the items that I can use. Also the, the Twilight Galaxy, I do like those. So anyway, that was um, <laughs> was a lucky start. Um, so now I'm going to add this information into the spec sheet. So let me go do that so that I can demonstrate how it works. Right, so here we have it. This is the amount we bet. This is what we won. Total staked so far, total won so far, and the actual profits based on all the jackpots that I'm registering here. So even though we won 4,255.13, we only gained 1,226.70 in profit because we did add in the majority of the value ourselves. So that was the first uh, jackpot in the list. So let us move on from that. Still playing on normal, not changing anything with the difficulties, just letting it roll checking out what kind of value is being added uh, so what do I want to bet 416 so once again <clears throat> we are up there where I want to stake my high end riskable items 222 284 this is a nasty jackpot it's getting a very high value meaning that we're going to have a lower chance to win it but it will also give us more interesting items so that is uh, super cool wow this is a very different uh, jackpot value than what we had last holy smokes come on stop it there no so like that so the total value of this part is 2525.99. If I just wanted to win it at 50%, that is the value I would put in. But since there is one expensive item in there, as in more than 400, I'm going to do the same as before. That is like a thumb rule I have that regardless of the value and of the risk, if there is an important item worth 400 or more, I add in whatever I have from the top and down at that value. So let us see, uh, we're just about 50-50 on this one. And uh, yeah, so this one was a loss. So that's of course a bummer, but let us add it in the list. So let me just check out what we had here. 3,028.43, so that is the same amount. And this time we didn't win anything. So this changes our profit into a negative, even though one could think that we were in a win, but we are not. We have now lost value from our account, 1800 to be precise. So that is how the statistical system works out. But um, it's only really fun when you have a lot of jackpots to work with. So uh, let's continue just a little bit more here in this video. Alrighty though. So pretty much just starting it up again. Um, now that, as you can see, my account is in a semi bad shape right now because I've going um, pretty jackpot nuts, spending all the time in buses lately, back and forth to the university meaning that I don't really have that many interesting items that I want to lose uh, in my equipment. I do need to farm stickers again. Um, but anyway, this value, this part so far is completely junk. So, and we do need uh, some easy wins really in order to regain our lost value. 
So if we don't see something crazy pants, we can try to go for that. Come on. Bring me lucky number 40. Wow, it's really like that. So 1600 give or take for a 50-50 chance to win. So what I'm going to be doing is looking for stickers that are worth more than 160 and add in 10 of those. That will give me more than 50% chance to win. And hopefully I will. <laughs> that's that's really how it is. Okay, so we have these here, 197. And so this is pretty much the same gamble I think as we did earlier. Uh, some of the semi-cheap stickers and some of the ones that are a little bit more expensive here. And then more than 50% chance of, to win, crossing the fingers. And this time we did. So the actual jackpot here has no real interest unless we have pink items that can be used for contracting such as the Poseidon um, because that can be contracted into something much more valuable namely the Medusa but um, I mean the Emerald Dragon there can be turned into AK-47 it's also good but the and so can the Ocean Foam so two items building towards an AK-47 or Golden Koi and the Poseidon there towards the Medusa so we got value and we got contracting options so that was a nice putt to win even though not that cool items but that is not what this is about so let's add it into the spec sheet so let's put in what we staked like that and then what we won like that so what we can see now is that we won twice we lost one and we are down 206.85 dollars so uh, uh, yeah it's not really that cool but it's um, it's there is no misery here and in the process we actually got one good item so I would gladly pay 200 account value for that but uh, let's do a bit more gambling Oh goody, so back here in the iPad, not iPad, iPhone, and going for another jackpot. Checking out the values, deciding what to stake based on that. Getting a bit more interesting stuff now, and uh, yeah, I like that. Nothing crazy though. And to be honest, when farming for account value, <clears throat> it is really nice not to see the super high valued items because you risk more and it makes it really hard for you to build up the value again but we had one like good gambling item there worth 300 ish um, bringing the pot to a dangerous level uh, without having anything really cool in there for us to win oh it went over <coughs> I was just tired of doing the start stuff stuff but 1880 um, but now we only have nine items to add in so I'm going to go in with just these stickers no I don't have enough of them oh okay so same stuff <coughs> this is a bit more risky than what I wanted uh, but let's just do it so less than 50% chance didn't I hit the start but very close to 50 let's see alrighty so that was a boohoo one so let's add it in so right there getting it updated it's not showing something positive and cool but it is the real deal our most recent loss nothing won and we are 200 in loss so sorry about that my stomach haven't really gotten enough to eat due to all the university stuff but um, yeah let's move on to another jackpot righty so just starting it up again come on so 
so junk 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 and now we did lose uh, the cheapest high-end stickers we had meaning that we can't really stake those anymore and I'm not sure if we have enough of the others 272 that was uh, that was okay a lot of small stake stuff there of course the lower items you put in the lower chance you have to win so in regards to that it could be a blessing in disguise that we lost the low stickers so that we can so that we're gonna put in the more expensive ones now for higher chance to win but of course it means um, when we lose we're also going to lose much more 300 oh, wow so let's just get the last one in here I don't want to be getting it the junk way again come on put it in just because sometimes it just ninjas in like three or four in a row and that's really not fun so here we have them put in ten of these like that so fifty two percent oh goody so that's nice and I mean we're betting around the fifty percent area so all else equal we're gonna be winning one losing one unless we do anything much different um, that's uh, like the math rule of 50 percent that you win every second one so a doubler mm -hmm. graphite crafting option not crafting contracting nothing really interesting of course there is the karambit here and the titan so these are now items we can use to bet when we see something valued at 400 or more so that was pretty cool let us uh, get the spec sheet updated with it so oops and get the wins just like that so we just ended in a small profit and um, that is pretty cool so this was um, this was a very very small demonstration of how my spec sheet works what I hope to do is add in five jackpots uh, doing them in a row so you guys can see like the jackpot numbers it's not like I'm adding in like random crazy lucky periods um, but with the live stream coming up in about half an hour I do want to prepare for that right now and also here if uh, this stuff here is something you guys think is interesting and you want to see more statistical videos because I do a lot of statistical gambling that I don't show because I'm a bit of a geek uh, that way but if you guys think it's like completely sucky boring of course I won't bore you with it but um, this is just to show you guys another way to look at the game to look at the statistics to use something such as Excel to uh, organize your data and get a bit more input about is the things you're doing working in regards to account value in regards to the items you want to aim for contracting there are so many ways you can make statistics um, some people love it that's me other really hate it perhaps that's you but uh, if you let me know then I uh, <laughs> will have a better chance of knowing if uh, this stuff is interesting for you to watch in the future as always guys thank you very much for watching